Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews channel. So guys, today I have uh, another CarPlay device for you. This one is a mini CarPlay AI box. Now you must be wondering what is a mini CarPlay AI box? Now these are some new kind of devices. Uh, these are not like a full-fledged Android CarPlay AI box. These are the mini versions. These devices would have some selected applications like this one from the company called Cheer Driving have launched this mini CarPlay AI box with YouTube, Netflix, uh, USB flash drive playback, wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay functions only. So it does not have a Google Play where you can go and install other applications. It's a mini device uh, restricted to these five uh, applications. So in this video, we will, uh, you know, first unbox this and then we will um, take this to my car and test all the different functions and features. All right, so now let's open it. Uh, you've got the instructions manual, uh, detailed instructions manual here. Uh, you've got the device. We'll come to this in a while. Now let's look at the other contents uh, in the box. You've got uh, the cables to connect the device with the car and a converter. Now the cable is a USB-C and USB-A, but uh, in case your car has a USB-C connection, then you can use this converter adapter to convert this into C to C, like this. All right, so now let's have a closer look at this device. Now let's take off this protective screen. You've got another one at the back. Take this off. Now, very lightweight, um, it's plastic body. You've got name of the brand. Um, now the sides in the back, you've got uh, spacing for uh, air ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. Uh, you've got the USB-C here. Now this is where you connect the cable and then with your car. And then the other side, you have the USB-A slot here. This is to connect a USB flash drive. So that's it, guys. Very simple device. Uh, nothing much uh, about it. It's very lightweight, um, very compact, not very big that uh, you can't manage it in your car. Now let me take this out and uh, connect it with my car, and then we will test all the different functions and features. So keep watching, guys. So guys, I've got the device ready here. Um, I've also connected a flash drive, connected the cable as well. Uh, now I will connect this with the, the system of my car uh, and then we will test all the different uh, functions and features of this uh, cheer driving mini AI CarPlay box. So let me connect it. So I've connected the device. It would take uh, a short while to uh, for the device to sync with the system here and calibrate the screen. And then we should be able to see the main home page of uh, this device. In fact, later on, what we will do is uh, run a proper startup speed test to see the actual speed of this device. All right, guys. So this is the main home page of the Cheer Driving uh, Mini CarPlay AI box. Uh, it's a very simple device. Um, it does not have all those applications and functions that you see in a full-fledged Android AI box. So um, on this main home page, you can have uh, connections on the left. Uh, when you click on this, you go and connect your Wi-Fi. I've already connected this device with my mobile's personal hotspot. Uh, you come back. Now here you have exit button. This takes you back to the main system of your car. You've got Netflix, uh, CarPlay, and then you have apps. If you click on the apps, you get to see all the different apps available. Now, as I said, you've got YouTube and Netflix, and then video and music that you can play back from the flash drive. So in order to test the performance of this device, I will go through each of these just to see if these are working fine. The first one I'd like to test is uh, YouTube. All right, so as you can see, YouTube is working fine. We can use the steering wheel controls uh, as well. The colors are quite nice, I must say, and uh, absolutely no buffering and lagging, playing very smoothly, um, so quite nice. All right, so YouTube is working fine. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, now let's test Netflix. 
okay all right netflix also working fine uh, again steering wheel controls are working fine on this app as well Hello. now i have a very heavy 4k file that i test on you know most of these carplay boxes uh, it's on the flash drive so let's test that let's test the steering wheel controls yeah working fine well it looks quite nice um, i must say playing quite smoothly absolutely no buffering or lagging it is a very heavy 4k file that i'm testing so i'm quite happy with this so all right so now let's test the wireless carplay let's click on this button here uh, the next step is actually go to go to the bluetooth on my iphone open it and then i should be able to see a new device with this name appearing here click on this here allow to sync and then it should be able to connect with apple carplay all right there you go so this is uh, the standard home page it's uh, quite simple to connect uh, your mobile with the wireless carplay and it is a one time setup you just need to do it once and then every time you switch on the car it automatically detects the connection and brings you back to the main home page of apple carplay all right so now let's connect the uh, wireless android auto uh, what we need to do is just click on this button again uh, go to bluetooth switch on bluetooth And then on the screen we see the name of the phone appearing click it connect and then we get a message of pairing on the mobile and then it should start pairing it we allow the syncing of the contacts and now you should be able to see uh, the home page of Android Auto on the screen there you go so again very simple one-time setup uh, works for both iPhone as well as Android mobiles um, quite simple Again, if you don't know much about Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you should just go and watch uh, my other videos where I have in detail explained all the functions and features of these two platforms. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, very nice. Uh, you can also customize it. You go into settings and change the background, the wallpaper, the icons and all. Uh, and all the applications that are installed on your mobile would appear on the screen here. Um, it's true for both iPhone and Android only the applications which are compatible uh, with Android Auto or CarPlay would appear uh, things like Facebook Instagram TikTok are not compatible so you won't be able to see it here now the last thing I would like to do is run a startup speed test uh, now in terms of uh, operating the different applications uh, it's perfect speed it doesn't lag at all uh, but one thing I would like to check is how long would this device take to start and get to this main home page when we switch on the engine of the car all right so i've got my stopwatch ready here um, i will unplug this device and uh, then plug it back in and then start the timer okay so 37 seconds um, now 37 seconds is not bad um, I always say anything around 30 seconds is quite decent that's it guys so I've tested all the different functions and features of this cheer driving carplay mini AI box and everything worked perfectly fine uh, YouTube uh, Netflix carplay wireless Android Auto as well as a USB playback everything worked perfectly fine really like it uh, the startup speed was also quite nice uh, so if you guys also like it and if you are interested to buy this amazing uh, CarPlay mini AI box Just go to the link in the description of this video uh, That would take you directly to the makers store where you can buy this amazing cheer driving CarPlay mini AI box